Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fall haul, if you can tell by the title. Um, I'm excited to do this video because I've been waiting maybe like a week to do this video, but I haven't had time and I was doing my Halloween videos, but I'm not going to be able to do a video probably for like the next week and a half, depending on what my schedule looks like next week. So I wanted to get this in, this video in for you guys before Halloween. I um, thought I... Halloween do this fall haul for you guys since by the time it's posted Halloween's gonna be over but anyways I don't want to make this super long just because um sometimes I enjoy watching like 30 minute hauls or like favorite videos but sometimes I don't and I'm like okay it just needs to get it going so I'm gonna try to go through really quickly everything I've got um everything all the clothing clothing items are gonna be from Old Navy I got a few Halloween items for my costume and then a few beauty products the other day just because I needed some things so yeah if you guys are interested in watching this video continue okay, watching so it. I also did my makeup is fall inspired too if you guys can tell I don't really wear eyeshadow normally and if I do it's normally neutral so I try to go in with my makeup too you guys um, I also need to speed through this video because I do have work in an hour and I haven't ate I'm so hungry I don't know why I haven't ate I just I'm never super hungry when I wake up in the morning so it's like it's 1.30 and I work at 3. So let's just get into the video. The first items I'm going to show you guys are the clothing items. Um, I guess I'll just start off with the shirt I have on now. All the clothing clothing items again are from Old Navy. Um, this shirt is from Old Navy. Kind of reminds me, you guys, try things on before you purchase them because I bought, I bought all these things and I had bought another shirt. The shirt I had bought wasn't on sale but I returned it because it ended up just looking like a big blob. It was like one of those flannel dresses and it looks like it was, it was going to be really cute but it wasn't fitted so I ended up returning it anyways and it was like $45. Like I would have never did that but I thought it looked really cute on the hanger so I bought it and then I re tried it on at home and then I returned it. But this is a little little house on the prairie to me but I kind of like it still I'm just wearing it for the video because again I have work it goes down to about my thighs it's basically just a plain plaid flannel um, it doesn't button all the way down it just looks like it does it actually stops right here oh I almost fell um, everything I got here was on sale so this was originally $30 I think it was maybe like 75% off so everything I got was a pretty good deal um it was kind of difficult old navy runs their sizes run super big so like i fit extra small normally i fit like a small or a medium so keep that in mind when buying things from them i got these really cute olive pants olive colored pants these were 12.99 plus i think they were like an additional 30 percent off or something i don't really remember um they just have like a tie at the top they look like sweat type pants and the bottom looks like that so they look really comfortable I didn't try them on but um they look like they're gonna fit you know how you can just look at things and they look like they're gonna fit next I got this dress shirt type thing it's gray it's more it didn't look like it was it looked like it was gonna be super loose off but I tried it on at home and it was actually like a tight dress so it's just oh I stained it when I tried it on is that a stain Kind of looks like a stain it might just be I don't know um so it looks like it'd be one of those loose shirt dresses but it's actually tight on me so and this one was a small I think this shirt I have on is a small too that all that all their stuff either had really big sizes or super small sizes so I got this one this one was $7.99 I don't know the price of this one you guys this was $18.49 plus, I think, an additional 30 or 75% off, something like that. This one is extra, extra large, and it is super big, but I figured I can wear this with leggings whenever I just don't feel like doing anything, and it's just a flannel. They didn't have any other sizes in this one, and this one was $7.99 plus, like, 75% off. Next, I got this one. I would have got more of these, but they didn't have my size in any other one, so I did just get an olive color, and this one's actually a medium, and it's just a loose tank top. This one was $8.49 plus, probably like 30% off. Um, I ended up spending... Oh, there's more. I didn't, I forgot I even had this stuff. These are more just basics. I ended up spending under $100 on all these things. I completely forgot about this stuff. I was like, I know that's not all I got from Old Navy. 
Um, I got two tank tops. These were ten dollars each. Plus, I think they I think they were five actually. They were sitting on the table and they had like or maybe six something like that. These just plain tank tops. I got a black one and a white one, and then I got a white V-neck. I don't remember how much this one was. Shows ten ninety four. That's probably wasn't the price. And then I also got this long sleeve because I do not own any long sleeves. This is a small and it's it's just a thin cotton long sleeve. I don't have any basics like that and I've told you guys I think the last like clothing haul I did was my New York haul maybe. Maybe that was like a long time ago that was like in the beginning of the year for my birthday. So that those are all the clothing things. Next I'm gonna go into some of the items. I went to GTM and then I went to Hobby Lobby. For some of my Halloween items. Um, I did buy fabric for the back of my Halloween videos. You guys will see that in, or have already seen that. Um, so I bought like a yard or two of black material and then some gold mat shiny material. Next, I bought these maybe for next year inspiration. I don't know. I just bought them because they were, f I think I got them for like $2.50. These ears, these were from Hobby Lobby. These cat ears. I can't wait till everything, a lot of things are already going on sale for next year for Halloween. Um, I did get this cute Hello Kitty, it was $3, carving kit, because I think I'm going to carve pumpkins with my little sister, hopefully. I know she's going to carve pumpkins with her friends. Um, oh, and it even has a little booklet inside, probably with ideas. Um, she's going to carve pumpkins with her friends, but hopefully I can carve pumpkins with her on her birthday, probably Thursday. Next, I got, I'm going to be, let me see. Okay, let's finish this. Yeah, so I'm going to be a mermaid for Halloween. I didn't want to spoil a surprise until um, I post it on Instagram. But since this video is going to be up after Halloween, then it's okay. So I decided to buy some glitter. I do already have some loose gold glitter, but I decided to buy this glitter. I don't know. I haven't tried it out yet or seen what it looks like. It's probably like a, it probably is more oily and not as messy as loose glitter. So I decided to buy this craft glitter. And it comes in different colors. I don't remember how much that was, but it was probably cheap. Then I bought these little sparkly gems to put on my face. And I am going to do uh, my friend's makeup for Halloween too. So I figured all this stuff will come in handy. I bought some of these, maybe to put like on my chest for like my costume. And then I also bought this. This was cute because it was like to design a pumpkin, but I'm actually not going to design use it to design a pumpkin. It was 99 cents, so that's why I bought it. But it came, this was before I bought those other gems. It came with these little gems, so that's the only reason I bought it. Um, next, I bought all this hair spray paint. I didn't know, I when I bought it at the time, I didn't know what I was going to be, but I figured it was $2. So I bought um, a pink one. They didn't have purple. I bought a pink one, a blue one. I may use the blue one for my mermaid costume, but I'm not sure yet. I don't know if it's going to look too much because I'm already doing a lot with what I'm wearing. And then I bought this silver one, which is kind of cool. Maybe I can use it for my um, video look too. Next, I bought these, and these are by Wet n Wild. These lashes, it says they were $1.30, but I think they were additional off that so they were probably like 75 cents or something I wasn't gonna get these but I figured I'd get them anyways just to have them these are like super dramatic thick lashes and then these ones are really cute these ones are more wispy and they have like silver glitter on them if you can see them so that's about it for that I also bought this candle from Target it was on sale and it smells like doesn't smell very fallish, but it smells like cookies. Cookies and leaves, kind of. I do want to buy some, not maybe pumpkin. I feel like everybody overdoes the pumpkin for fall, but maybe I'm just being a party pooper. I do love pumpkin pie. That's the only pumpkin thing I like. Now, lastly, for the beauty products, I'm going to show you guys. Um, I did need a few beauty products that I've just been meaning to get, and I kind of, I really wanted that, um... The Max New Collection, it's like mid, mid, Midnight Night or something like that. I don't know. But the highlight from that collection, the first one, I forgot what it's called, it was sold out. It literally sold out in a day, you guys, in where I live. 
and um, so I went the day after and they had their display on display and it said sold out on the eyeshadow so I was like oh the highlights still here so I asked the girl and the girl was like no we sold out yesterday everywhere else, everywhere sold out I was at Macy's you guys I didn't go to the Mac I went to Macy's um, so she said they were sold out everywhere so I was like oh well I really wanted a highlight so let me just go to the Urban Decay ones because I already have this Urban Decay one that I show you guys all the time that's my favorite this has more of a gold undertone and um, so I was like let me go look at the other ones Urban Decay has because I really like the one I already have and then the girl showed me this one and this one's more of a silver undertone this one is luminous and she said this one's a limited edition out of all of them, so I was like, well, limited edition, I guess it's always good to get limited edition, right? So I ended up getting this one. Um, she put, I had already had this, the other one on, the gold undertone one, on when I went to the mall. So she was like, they look really pretty together, blah, 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 blah. So she put this one on, and then she just sold me. You guys, when they put the makeup on you, look at that one. So pretty. I'm kind of content with my highlight as of today but I do want to go back to Sephora and get the Makeup Forever Duo one but I'm really really sad that I didn't get to get that MAC one but they're going to be coming out with more good highlights um anyways so I needed a primer and I was going to get a MAC primer but I wasn't completely sure I'm not I don't really know anything about primers because I don't ever use primers showed you guys in my other video my elf one that I was using and I kind of like it but I want like a a high quality primer so I'm willing to spend all the money on a primer because I never really use one and I feel like it's really important because my makeup always be looking on fleek when I leave the house and then when I come back it's just gone so or it just doesn't look like the way it did when I first did it you know what I mean so I was asking the girls around um, all throughout Macy's because they have a bunch of different counters uh, what primer I should get and when I was buying the highlight I asked the girl well how's the Urban Decay primer she was like it's good but it's a little dewy type looking and if you have oily skin I wouldn't re recommend the Urban Decay primer I would recommend the BB cream by Urban Decay so she recommended this one I've been using it for two days and I don't really see a difference I like that it's a BB cream because then I could just wear this but I don't think I'd feel comfortable going out just wearing this. Not saying I'm not comfortable not wearing makeup when I go out. But I, I don't know. I don't really care for it. So I may... She said this one's oil free and that's the only reason I got it. But um, I'm not really liking it. So I'm going to go back to get the Makeup Forever. Um, go back to the mall to get the Makeup Forever highlight. So I may just return this on Wednesday or Thursday whenever I go back. Because I don't really care for it. I've used it for two or three days two days I think it's been two days and it's I don't know I don't feel feel like it's doing much like my skin looks really nice but it's not really keeping my makeup on as I thought it would and I think I spent like 30 35 dollars on this so I may be returning this and if you guys have any suggestions please leave them down below I probably will have already bought a primer by the time I post this but let me guys know let me know any you guys let me know any ways what type of primers you guys recommend because I really need a good one next I bought um, this Pro Longwear Paint Pop Painterly um, this you guys game changer this, you see my eyeshadow? My eyeshadow would never look the way it does today. And I have, this is my first time using it. So it did make my eyeshadow go on really pigmented. We'll see how much of a primer it is to see how long my eyeshadow stays on all day today. Because I do work till like midnight today at work. So I'll let you guys know. Um, but I like, so far I really do like this. Next I needed a powder to set my under eye to set my whole face and I didn't want to buy I was using um, my NYX contour kit and the shade banana as well as the NYX just compact banana and it was kind of drying out my skin like it wasn't making it look nice and matte it was looking more dry and um, I don't know if it was just the mix of the makeup products I'm using or what it was so I told the girl that at MAC sorry you guys I told the girl um, at MAC that I needed something to set my under eye 
and to set my whole face because at first she was like oh you need something to just to set your under eye do you like to highlight and I was like no more of like something to set my whole face and give me a little bit of coverage so she first recommended the studio fix um press powder but she tried it on me and I felt like that was a little thick and I, I felt I didn't want it to dry out my skin too much so then she recommended the mineralized skin finish in medium dark and I feel like I'm really enjoying this I don't know I've only used it today and yesterday um, I don't think there, this comes in too many colors, so this was the color she gave me. It looks, it's more light than a foundation, but it does give you a little coverage, and um, I kind of like the way it's been working. So, yeah. So that wraps up my video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I did kind of rush through it just because I do have work. I'm super hungry, and I didn't want to talk your guys' ear off for 50,000 years. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed it. You got a little bit of ideas of things I got. Stop by Old Navy. I didn't realize how many good deals they had until just recently. I do want to say a big thank you to all of you guys. I know I don't always say thank you for watching, but thank you so much for watching. I'm at like 400 and something subscribers. Um, a lot of you guys who know me are always like, I watch your videos or blah, blah, blah. And it's kind of weird. Like, oh, because I kind of just do this as a hobby, you guys, not as anything else kind of helps with my anxiety too so um and I like sharing the things I bought with people other than my family um but yeah so I just want to say a huge thank you for you guys I do want to plan a giveaway once I get to 500 subscribers um pretty much a big giveaway for you guys um I really do appreciate you guys watching and appreciate everybody who I don't know watching and who I do know watching and tell and that tell me that you guys watch my videos it really warms my little heart even though I kind of act a little awkward when you guys tell me because who knows how to react to that it's kind of weird um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one leave me comments down below on videos you guys want me to do because now that Halloween's over we're gonna be over by the time I post this video um I, the holidays are coming up and I need some ideas. I know I want to do a little, a few holiday looks. I'm really, really excited. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video for the 50,000th time. And I will see you guys in my next one.